Hello and welcome to Keys TV News, live on keysnews.net. I'm Tom Rowland. Greater Manchester Police have turned to Twitter in the hope of catching a um, runaway prisoner. Paul Keith Howard from Lower Kersal has breached the terms of his licence and is wanted on recall to prison. He has been missing since October uh, and police say he has no obvious means of income. Meanwhile, Greater Manchester Police are planning to recruit up to 250 new staff, including 50 police officers over the next year. This is despite GMP having its budget reduced by 20% recently, forcing about 3,000 posts to be lost. Police and Crime Commissioner Tony Lloyd announced the new move as part of his budget spending plans. The increase is said to cost the average household slightly over an extra penny a day. He stated that he is making this change to protect the service and make sure that he can maintain policing standards. A study carried out by the End Child Poverty Campaign has shown that Manchester has the highest rate of child poverty in the UK. 47% of children are living in households earning less than £20,000 per year. The charity is worried that being below the poverty line can harm a child's future prospects and has called on the government to examine its current strategy to reduce child poverty. Reclaim the Night is an annual march which protests against rape, sexual violence and harassment. The event was organised by the Manchester University students and was full of, of uh, colour, neon lights and sound. It was led by a um, women's only block and followed by a mixed march open to all genders. Journalists at the BBC have been striking against compulsory redundancies. The National Union of Journalists called the 24-hour strike after failing to reach an agreement over the redeployment of 30 staff members. Changes to the daily schedule included BBC Breakfast, which was live from London, instead of Salford Quays. Local news services were also impacted as they included shorter five-minute news bulletins. An international nursing conference has been taking place at the University of Salford. Delegates from across Europe and the USA have been sharing best practice and encouraging cooperation between different countries. Gabriel Wynne reports. Medical students celebrated completing an international programme dealing with care of acutely ill patients. The students celebrated in style by holding a flash mob at the Allerton campus. Melanie Stevens, project manager for the programme, told us more. We've brought 65 students and 12 staff from across seven countries to join us here at Salford to learn about care of the acutely ill patients. And this involves workstations, masterclasses, seminars, and as you've seen today, flash moves. It's been a very good course. Uh, it was very well structured and um, uh, very good lecturers and lecturers and um, very well kept together so it didn't go like all over the place. It was just the acute treatment, so very good. Yes, we recommend it to yeah. others. It was very beneficial to yeah. our learning. Yeah, it's really, really good. I recommend it. Really big thanks to we really appreciate that we could uh, take participation in this program and uh, it was really inspirative for us, for our students to compare our system and uh, English system and also the system of other colleagues and uh, we think that everybody should uh, take a chance to, uh, to participate in such a program. For more information, check out euradar.org. This is Gabriel Wynn reporting for Keys TV News. To this week's sport with our correspondent Thomas Deegan. Well, Tom, yesterday Liverpool took on Zenit St. Petersburg in the Europa League at Anfield. Despite winning 3 1 on the night and with an aggregate score of 3 0, they go out of the competition on away goals. This weekend we return to the Premier League action when Manchester United travel to Loftus Road to play at QPR and we will take them 15 points clear of second place Man City, who hosts Chelsea at the Etihad Stadium on Sunday. Also, Wigan travel to Reading and Everton will go to to Carrow Road to play Norwich. And finally on to Rugby League. Tomorrow Warrington Wolves travel to Hull FC. On Sunday Salford Reds take on Hull KR at Salford City Stadium. The Reds are without a win this season. Also Warrington Wolves play host to L London Broncos. We mentioned Man United and earlier and this week, earlier this week announced Chief, D Chief Executive David Gills to step down in May. He will remain as director at the club, Executive Vice Chairman Ed Woodward would assume guilds of responsibilities. Tom. At the end of last year, you would have heard of the internet phenomenon Gangnam Style. This year, however, has had an early start with the Harlem Shake internet meme. 
If you haven't heard of it, the video usually begins with one person uh, dancing to the song Harlem Shake by Bauer, then leading to everyone joining in when the bass drops. It particularly gripped the North West this week, including students from the University of Salford, Manchester City Football Club and Greater Manchester Fire and Rescue Service. Now, the latest on Keys TV News, we'll be holding a special 12-hour comic relief programme on March the 15th. That is not to be missed. Look out uh, for our one-off immigration special, as well as business and entertainment segments throughout the programme, all in aid of comic relief. That's all from us today. Don't forget you can now watch us uh, uh, live every Friday at 1.30pm at keysnews.net. Also, you can follow us on our Twitter account at Keys TV News, where you can get in touch and let us know what stories you, uh, you think we should be covering. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.